Hey guys, welcome back to Reviewed for You by Jay. I'm your girl Jay, and today I'm going to go ahead and review a product for you that I have currently started being started using. Um, prior to this product, I used to use a lot of Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret. That was my go-to, especially Victoria's Secret. I'm a huge Victoria's Secret fan. I love their lotions as well, and that was typically what I would get is a lot of their lotions. But, unfortunately, the lotions that I own from them and I have used are not the most vegan friendly. And I am trying to transition into using as much vegan products as much as possible. Sulfate free, paraben free, phthalate free, um, silicone free, petroleum free, mineral oil free. Um, a bunch of, you know, just vegan cruelty um, free items practically. So I was doing some research on Target and I had come across a lotion that I got a little bit ago and it is this Urban Hydration Rosehip Body Lotion. So again the brand is Urban Hydration, it's Rosehip Body Lotion. So this has 16.9 fluid ounces in it and I paid a, I want to say I paid a decent price for it because typically retail price on a Victoria's Secret lotion will be like I want to say like $18 but if you buy it at the deal even then you're paying at least a good six to eight dollars for one even when you get some type of deal that is attached to which a lot of times they do have deals um, I'm actually gonna look it up right now the price that I paid for it So the price that I paid was $6.99, which is exactly what I thought I paid for it. Um, you know, I had a coupon and a gift card and stuff, so I paid a little less for it. Um, but that's typically the price that it goes for on Target, which is the site that I got it off of. Again, this is Urban Hydration, and um, it is fruit and plant-based care. Now it does say on the side, it tells you specifically, no bad stuff, paraben free, silicone free, sulfate free, phthalate free. Our vitamin based solution is here. We load up on vitamin A and vitamin E to improve the appearance of age spots, wrinkles, stretch marks, and lines. And this pretty much told me is the fact that it is a good product and it's supposed to help your skin and help all those areas. Um, more or so less the age spots. I don't feel, really feel like I have age spots right now. And I don't feel like I have wrinkles on my body. But, um, just like the even skin tone and the vitamin E and all that. And the good properties that it gives you. Now, it also says, um, helps moisturize, no harsh chemicals. Helps keep skin soft and recyclable packaging. It is vegan, paraben free, silicone free, phthalate free, and sulfate free. Um, why we why use natural rose hip? Brighten, rejuvenate, and replenish your skin with natural rose hip oil. Rose hips essential fatty acids and antioxidants make for radiant even toned skin. So for this the ingredients it says it has water in it, um healthy helix. Hexyl palmitate, satirial alcohol, glycerin, stearic acid, glycerol stearate, satirious 25, peg 100 stearate, phenol exthenol, caprolyl glycol, fragrance, carbomer, sodium hydroxide, tetrasodium glumate dicetate, Rose oil, coconut oil, vitamin E, and vitamin A. And for the directions, it just says apply a generous amount and massage into the skin. Enjoy for free. Enjoy the fragrance. Reapply as needed. And this is also, I want to point out, it is a woman's, it's a woman-owned product. 
I know some of you guys, you know, prefer, well, like when it's woman owns, so woman empowerment. And I will read off their story. And I really love their story because it gives back. And I'm really big on giving back. I'm really big on helping other people when I can. Even if I don't have much, wherever I can help, I try to help. And I'm really huge on that. So that's a big thing for me. So it says, our story. After introducing natural hair and bath and body solutions to friends, family, and their own children, the Terrys were inspired to share their love for clean beauty across the nation. Today, millions of urban hydration products are sold in more than 7,000 retail stores across the nation. What's fun and rewarding about Psych and Von Soba is that they continue to give back to the charity by making a donation for every product they sell. In 2018, Urban De Hydration dedicated its first clean water drinking well to 300 Kenyan school children. Um, did you know, every Urban Hydration purchase makes a difference. Thanks to you and Water First, Water is Life. During the summer of 2018, Urban Hydration built a fresh water well in Kenya. We are just months away from building our next well. So they're, you know, trying to help get clean water to people across the world. And I think that's awesome. And clean water is important. It is a major part of our everyday use and our survival. And with the water resources and it being it's coming to the point where it's starting to slowly become scarce, it is an issue. And, you know, the crazy thing is, although we had to get hit with such a pandemic that has been affecting the nation, the world, at the same time, the positive outcome of that, it has been helping clean the environment because there's been less people out, less pollution. So that time that everybody was on lockdown, it helps a lot. So just imagine if we just was more environmental friendly, how much it could help just like the entire world and the water and get clean water. And because prior to that, it was, and I'm sure it's still an issue because it's not completely gone, but like places like India um, that I've seen documentaries on, they have really, in places in Africa, as we know, have a really hard time getting clean water there your water is like dirty and it's not sanitary. And again, people need it to cook with, need it to drink, need it for products that they make. So it's like an everyday use and you need it to bathe, everything. So it's important that we have clean water. So I think that is an amazing thing that they're doing. So big ups to Urban Hydration for that. Now, I've been using it for about a week or two now. And I will say, that I I don't feel like my skin is dried. I definitely feel like it moisturizes my skin. Um, so it does work. The one thing I do not like about this product is the smell. The It is a strong rose hip smell. It's very strong. If you love the smell of rose hip, this might be for you. This, But for me, I'm not really a big fan of rose hip. Therefore, I will not be buying this particular scent. Not saying that I will not buy from Urban Hydration, just not this particular scent. Definitely not what I expected at all. Um, it has coconut in it, apparently, but I do not smell the coconut. Um, again, if you look at the list of ingredients, the coconut oil is at the very end. And again, I'm just reading the ingredients because I'm looking for rose hip. Yeah, rose hip oil comes before coconut oil. So, smell the rose hip. I don't smell the coconut. I know what coconut smells like. I use coconut oil. I'm refined in my hair all the time. Um, maybe they use refined coconut um, oil. I'm not sure because I don't smell it. So, I will go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on my skin. So that's what you're dealing with. It's definitely thick. It's a thick lotion. And it applies smoothly. 
Again, that rose hip oil, it smells really strong. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent. Therefore, I will be wearing it or applying it while I am self-quarantining and not going anywhere because I'm too scared to go out into the world right now. But that's just me, guys. I have, you know, other issues that I have to worry about. So, and I have a child to care for, like I always mention about him. He's my number one concern, so I need to keep him safe by all measures. Again, I use that little bit that I suck in my hand for my arm and my hands. I mean, it's not the worst smell in the world, but it's just not appeasing to me. Therefore, because of the smell is not the best, I will give it about a 4 out of 5, maybe a 4.5 out of 5. It's a good con thick consistency. It definitely moisturizes for sure. I've only been using it for a week, so um, I don't really have many of the issues that it says that it, you know, it helps with. I don't have much of those issues, just stretch marks. And in order for stretch marks to go away, that takes time. But I'm sure it works. Again, according to the ingredients, it's a clean product. And they they brand themselves as a clean product. And their mission is amazing. So, if you guys, again, if it's something you're interested in, I would suggest go get it. You know, it's only $6.99 for that big bottle. Again, you pay about anywhere from $6 to $8 for a Victoria's Secret lotion which it doesn't have all the benefits at all and it's half the amount of this so you get double the amount and benefits and they're doing something amazing for the world so definitely something i would suggest to go get and that's pretty much my review on that and what i think and what i feel about it all right and if you guys have any comments if you guys have any suggestions on any really good vegan based lotions that I should try, that you guys think that I should try, that's within a decent price range, because I'm not going to spend an arm and a leg for a lotion. I think that's ridiculous. I think lotion should be at a reasonable price for something that we use on a daily basis. So, again, if you guys have any suggestions, leave it down below in the comment section, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.